Are you searching for the fountain of youth? We all are, uh, you know, depending on how much we're willing to admit it or not. Um, from Botox to facelifts, many people are looking for that quick fix to make them look years younger. Okay, so the latest innovation in plastic surgery is the stem cell facelift, but it's not exactly what you may think it is. The latest craze in looking forever young has nothing to do with a traditional facelift or Botox. Botox wouldn't resolve my problem. At 38 years old, John Shea was not exactly happy with the way he looked. The drawn look, I, my face looked emaciated prior to it. For several years, John tried fillers, but that instant fix quickly faded. They're gone within three months. So two years ago, John turned to Manhattan plastic surgeon, Dr. Scott Wells. He recommended a new non-surgical procedure called the stem cell facelift. This is very much cutting edge today. Unlike fillers, you don't see results immediately, but instead over time. This is John two years ago, in fact, one month after the procedure, as the lines in his face began to fill in. And finally today, two years after having the stem cell facelift. Yeah, I definitely feel I'm more comfortable with my appearance and I'm more comfortable feeling my age. The procedure uses adult stem cells found within the patient's own body to regenerate the volume our faces lose with age. It's kind of like gardening. We're planting seeds and waiting for the harvest. The seeds of the youth come from injecting stem cells into the patient's face, using a laser to activate them, and then waiting for stem cells to germinate, filling out the face. Stem cells can be controversial, though, but Dr. Wells says in this instance, they aren't. The procedure does not involve the embryonic stem cells from a fetus, but instead adult stem cells found within the patient's own fat tissue and extracted from fatty areas like the butt or thigh. So here, we're really harvesting tissue that we've always been harvesting and enriching it for a patient's benefit. Dr. Lance enriches the stem cells harvested by a slight liposuction by whipping them. Some patients choose to take that liposuction a step further. Now you can do a small amount of liposuction if we're only going in just to harvest the cells, but you can also you know, get more liposuction done because we're right there at that time. The results of the stem cell facelift are revealed over time as the stem cells form fat in the patient's face. Wells says this process produces a more natural look. Patients, interestingly, sometimes don't think they've changed at all because the change is slow, kind of like the reverse of aging. Stem cell facelifts aren't just being used to reverse aging. 43-year-old Siegel Magori had the procedure done to prevent aging. Nobody knows that I did this unless I tell them that I do this. I only get comments like, oh, you know, you look, you look younger or you look refreshed. But not everyone is convinced that this procedure is the fountain of youth it claims to be. Dr. Robert Lavker is a stem cell biologist at Northwestern Medical. He says the stem cell facelift is possible, but there are no studies to prove its effectiveness. There's no proof that you've actually put in stem cells, that they are behaving like stem cells, that they're making a variety of different cell types, and it's very long-lasting. No, there is no proof. There may be a couple of stem cells in there, but overall, uh, I think it's being hyped a little bit too much. Still, for John Shea, the stem cell facelift gave him the exact results he was looking for. Right now, and for the last two years, I've been very satisfied. Okay, so as always, there is a catch. This procedure can cost anywhere between ten and twenty thousand dollars, but Dr. Wells says that it actually pays for itself over time because patients will not need regular Botox or any fillers.